what we want to do is come up here in the view menu and view on onion skin and let's set the transparency to oh, about 25 percent or so and you can see here where the selection wasn't quite perfect you can see the edges of the hair here if I turn the transparency all the way up you see the hair that's missing there so we want to be able to see that and where it, where it is so 30 percent or so would be just fine and we can come in with our select tool with plus selected here and we can kind of go through and just grab a little more of the hair that didn't quite show up. We have a little bit of the arm here. We can switch over to the minus and deselect things that weren't. You can use your left and right brackets key by the keyboard to remove things from the selection. And then we'll use this brush called the Refine Edge Brush. And again, I'm going to turn the, the transparency up to about 60% now. And I'm just going to start brushing on the hairs that were kind of lost there in the process. I am going to turn Smart Radius on and set it up to about two pixels or so. Two, three pixels, something like that. And now we'll change our view. Let's view on black. All right. So again, we can brush around areas that are just a bit off. And now we can get our brush tool and resize the brush. It's a lot smaller here. And with the Option key or Alt key held down, we can get rid of a couple of these background pieces of noise here. And then we can come over on the shirt and just grab that one little piece right there. Now we have some fringing going on and we can play with these sliders. We can see what the contrast does. That pulls it in a little bit. We can shift the edge in just a little bit. There is a setting right here in the output settings. You may have to click on the reveal arrow there to see it. There is a decontaminate colors and a slider that goes along with that. And you can play with that slider. Let's take a look at the view menu. We can view it on a white background. That's looking pretty good. I can see, I'm gonna switch over to the minus here. I can see one piece of the background board coming through. Right there. But uh, let's output to a new layer with a layer mask and we'll click OK. And so that's how you use the select and mask dialog box.